Don't forget, the next video after this part has already been made and is live now on my Patreon for you to see straight after you've watched this. Fully voice acted, soundtracked, and with my signature editing, up for early access to the incredible 3,600 plus patrons who support my work from just $3 with more and more access at higher tiers. This has long been requested to have the full next video early available to you guys who just can't wait for what happens next on Ultra Vegito. And now it's finally here. Links are in the pinned comment and description. Head there after the video. <laughs> so our story continues with true demon Vegito. Laughing maniacally in the background with his hands resting on his hips as his tail moves about from side to side. Letting out from among one of the hundreds, if not thousands of Ultra Vegito copies he had let loose from as many timelines, yelling, Sorry for bringing these guys uninvited, Z, but I figured for the sake of Zeno's show, the more the merrier. <laughs> And as each of the Ultra Vegitos around begin to realize where they are and why they've been summoned, each with their near identical personalities would comment, <laughs> Well, would you look at this? What a sight to behold! I've never seen so many beautiful men in one place! Seems one of us couldn't handle the heat and jump the gun. I don't know about you guys, but I was saving this for Zeno! Ha! Same here! As another Vegeta would interject, with his hand on his face, adding, What the hell am I even doing here? What a loser the Vegeta from this timeline must be! Beaten already? <clears throat> At least try and find out the limits to this form first! If only you knew what you were really capable of. <laughs> but eventually, the real Vegito from the current timeline that we know would finally respond back. Will you two shut up already? Don't question my choices. You'd literally do the same. <laughs> this is exactly why I prefer just using energy apparitions. At least they wouldn't talk so much. <sighs> but Z, who would stand still in his angel fighting stance, one wing still in flow behind him, would look on in annoyance, as he thinks, Unbelievable. Utterly despicable. To think a mortal would be so foolish to wield the time rings like this. To have such disregard for the flow of time and the inevitable consequences that will arise now. Each of those timelines are now distorted and will likely never be the same. I have to stop this now. But Lord Zeno. If I do this too quickly and fail to entertain him, just what will he do? But in stark contrast to the serious nature of what is happening in the mortal realm, back in the lands of the gods, the toddler-like deity is seen jumping in excitement. As he continues, Go Son Goku! Son Goku! Son Goku! There's just so many of him now. I wonder what Z will do. I told you Goku was stronger. Didn't I die? <laughs> but now with one of the most panic-stricken looks ever seen on the priest, the Dai Shinken would just think to himself as a blue hue would go over his face. What has he done now? Why is Zeno happy about this? He knows all too well that this is not right! Kronoa will not allow this for much longer. Not even the Time Patrol 
will be able to handle this many timelines tampered with. Not only that, if the time distortions get bad enough, demons like Toa, Mira, and Demigra will even appear again. Zeno, you are forgetting everything! As behind the priest, the three well-known demons of Xenoverse are seen behind him. As suddenly for the first time in the series, the Grand Priest would begin powering up somewhat, as a unique bright white electricity begins to surround his body. And addressing the Omni King with a more serious face, the Dai Shinken finally speaks up saying, My Lord, it is in my honest deduction that things are getting out of hand within this battle with Son Goku. As your sworn advisor and protector, for your own good and the good of this realm, I will now end this battle once and for all. Rest assured, I will still make this entertain- No! You will not! But suddenly, just as the priest would begin getting prepared, he instantly would be cut off by none other than Zeno. His back turned as he emotionlessly slowly turns his eyes to the priest and continues, This... This... Is my show. This is what I want. And if I can't have any fun, then no one will. <laughs> You know what that means, right, Dai? You remember the six other universes. <coughs> but why? And on hearing this, the priest would instantly become more submissive, quietening down his tone as he would begin questioning, My lord, please, can you not see what this Saiyan is doing? What this demon is doing. Lord Zeno, every single one of those hundreds of time portals he just opened so easily has had its flow of time completely changed. Those distortions can break the balance between realms, stretch the time patrol too thin, and it could even result in him coming back. The return of Luce. Stop! But once more, he would instantly be interrupted. But this time, by a starkly more angered Omni King, who with a strangely much older look on his face, would say, I told you, Dai, not to ever mention that name again. Not to mention the name of that brother of yours. You will stay and do nothing. This is my fun. And my fun is all that matters. <coughs> and with a big sigh, the Dai Shinken would then concede, immediately powering down as he lets out. Ye yes, my lord. Of course. I will remain. As you wish. Before internally, he would just look down solemnly and whisper, Z, this is all up to you now, it seems. Just, just end this now. And as the priest would say this under his breath, back on the battlefield, we would return to the one winged Z, who stands tall but silent, not uttering a word he assesses the horrific and stacked against him situation laying before him. <laughs> before with a swift slam, Z would slap his palm onto his fist, retaking a stance he used to transform earlier, but this time no aura is released. <laughs> this ends here! Shockingly finally revealing instead four clones of his own self then appearing right beside him. Surrounding him on all four corners 
as the army of true demon Vegitos just watch on. <laughs> this should be all that I need. At least, I would hope. Zeno, please, be entertained enough by this. As all five Zs would then stand together, furiously targeted at the army of demon saiyans ahead of them. <laughs> As a giggling legion of Ultra Vegitos would just stare back all smirking and full of battle lust, as the Vegito in front would say, All right, as fun as this get-together is, I need to get back to my timeline to finish things off on my end. Come on, let's do this already! <laughs> as quickly, jumping the gun surprisingly, even before the Vegitos, Z and his four clones would instantly jump into the air with unfathomable speed, even taking the multiple god killers all by surprise. <gasps> Ready? <coughs> As the first Z would make their first move, quickly slamming a foot straight into the gut of a god killer for devastating effect. <coughs> while the second would reciprocate, slamming another god killer away with ease. <coughs> and another would land a forearm directly onto the nose of another Vegito. All three showing their complete dominance over the god killer. Pathetic! <coughs> <coughs> And just like that, the beatdown would continue all over, as the real Vegito from the current timeline would just stand there watching from a distance, and Z and his four copies would completely decimate every single Vegito as if they were just children. <sighs> what the? Leaving the original God Killer to now reel in disbelief. His eyes burst open wide as he yells, How is this happening? Are those clones of the god just as strong as the original two? No, don't tell me. Even when his power is split up by five, he was still just this far ahead of me! Damn it! And triggered, but unable to accept reality, the god killer would then grit his teeth and say, Whatever, this means nothing. There's plenty more here, and you can't defeat them all, God. I don't care who you are. Go, my fellow God killers. Destroy this slave like the weakling he is. First one to take him down gets to absorb 10% of his energy. <laughs> As quickly. With a deluded wide smile, Vegito would point his finger toward the five Zs, like a commanding officer ordering his drones ahead. And in a combined effort, as if completely obeying the original Vegito, or perhaps just enthralled with their own Saiyan love for battle, all the remaining hundreds of Vegitos would then fly in all at once eager to try their hand at the Divine Gods. <laughs> Surprising Z as he begins to realize just how tragic the situation really is, with demonic god killers approaching him from practically any and every angle, as they yell out, What's wrong, God? Having trouble knowing where to look? Don't worry, we'll have you looking into the light Soon enough! <laughs> but in response, Z would keep his cards close to his chest, keeping his hand outstretched, ready to battle, but also thinking, as expected, there are many, many more of these abominations left. But at their current level of strength, me and my four clones should be able to do this. At least, there's no way Lord Zeno could not be in 
enjoy And just like that, the battle would continue with all four clones of the guards with their hands full, each battling and beating multiple Ultra Vegitos all at the same time. A battle that almost seems endless, yet Z's faces would remain emotionless, indicating practically no tiring on his side at all. <laughs> Keep still, you damn slave! And as one Z would struggle fighting against two Vegitos, another would swipe his arm, instantly creating a shockwave that would blow back multiple god killers. <laughs> this is taking far too long. But as this goes on, in the middle, the original Z, complete with his white wing, would instead begin powering up a concentrated ball of divine energy. Its light shining brighter and brighter with a high-pitched tone until... HEAVENLY BLADES! As suddenly, from the center of Z's energy, explodes out a mass number of white energy blades extending for miles, slaughtering and dismembering tens of Ultra Vegitos all at the same time. <laughs> what a mess. And in the aftermath, Z would no longer be surrounded by any more Ultra Vegitos. Instead, a pile of godkiller remains would be strewn all over the floor in front, with puddles of blood staining the soil. But looking down at all the damage, the roll guard would remain stoic in appearance, letting out, it's pointless to even resist. As you transformed, so did I. And the gap between us has just grown even further. Killing all of these god killers from other timelines will no doubt cause problems. But I guess some creatures are better left dead. Before then reaching down to grab the head of what appears to be a deceased head of Vegito. Adding on, I told you far too many times, God Killer. You will never be able to challenge Lord Zeno. <laughs> but as he turns the head around of the decapitated Vegito, in typical God Killer fashion, he would still be laughing as he looks at Z with one eye open and blood leaking from his veins, goading. Challenge for Zeno? Maybe not now, but surely I will, after I take that sweet energy of yours. You do know we're going to regenerate, don't you? And while we take our time doing that, the rest of us will be dogpiling the rest of your men behind you! <laughs> Instantly leading to Z turning around and indeed confirming what the floating skull had said. As in the distance, he would watch on as each of his clones would continue to struggle regardless, with even more Vegitos, some of which had already regenerated from his last attack. Huh? No! But back with the Grand Priest and Zeno, the Dai Shinken would continue his alarm. As with a now sweat-drenched, distressed look, he would reflect, Z. No! What are you doing? You're wasting time! Every second this creature survives, the more damage the multiverse will receive! He must still be trying to keep Zeno happy! The fool! But that damn Vegito is right! This is a losing battle at this rate! If he does lose, that Saiyan finds a way to absorb a royal guard then! No! As suddenly, on realization of the horror that will be unleashed on the multiverse if Vegito wins, he instantly then lifts two fingers up from his hip. Quietly, and most importantly, 
hidden from Xana. But for what reason? But back with Z, he would reach his men and regroup with the rest of his clones all now beginning to slightly fatigue from the constant battle. As the guard would let out, there's just far too many to deal with one by one like this. This fool really opened an unbelievable amount of time portals. I cannot even keep count of how many anymore. If I don't deal with this with my full power now, this will only go on forever. Maybe time to... Z! Uh, <laughs> but suddenly, just as the royal guard would begin coming to a decision, a familiar voice would talk to him telepathically, at first confusing the guard before... <laughs> so, it is you. Seems you've found a way to sneak past the young lord. I hope you know what you're doing. Tell me, Master Dai, what do you need? And just like that, from within the consciousness of Z, the Grand Priest would begin saying to the guard in secret, Z, it's been a while since I've had to use this technique, but you are correct. I am talking to you from within Zeno's realm. I shall get to the point. You need to end this battle now. I give you full permission to use the full power of the Seraphim form. As you have probably noticed, this Vegito has become a true demon. Destroy all traces of him and do it now. I will deal with Lord Zeno if there are any problems. Do you understand? <laughs> and on hearing this, Finally, an uncharacteristic smirk would appear on the face of Z, as he would just respond, It's almost as if you read my mind, Master Dai. I had my hesitations, but with your support, I will end this charade once and for all. Don't blink, you know this will be quick. <laughs> and instantly on saying this, Z's eyes would burst open once more. But this time, surprisingly, all four of his clones would then begin to vanish as a result. Eventually leaving Z alone on the battlefield, Z recounts, Ah, my full power has returned. This was fun while it lasted. God killer. <laughs> leaving Vegito positively bemused, he himself would wonder, The clones! They're gone! Does he really think he has a better chance fighting by himself? Tch, the fool! I was hoping he'd stretch himself over a few more clones. Then, just maybe, our powers would match. Before quickly, the Royal Guard would then jump into the sky and away from the hordes of Ultra Vegito. <laughs> and as he reaches far into the sky, looking down at the still giggling and cackling crowd, he would make a final comment. This is probably one of the worst demon outbreaks in the history of the mortal realm. Even worse than what Lucifer unleashed. But unfortunately for you, you will be oh so infinitely easier to deal with, Vegito. <laughs> Before suddenly then closing his eyes in a fashion we have come to expect from the guard until... Seraphim Final Form! Acobel and Castiel reunite! <laughs> from his other shoulder, yet another wing would sprout now, giving Z a true angel set of wings, as white lightning, similar to what was seen on the priest, then begins to spontaneously appear all around. But crucially, even once transformed, when we look closer at Z's eyes, they would be closed once more. 
Watch closely, Dai. Here is proof I have mastered your teaching. As unbelievably, the left eye of Z would then undergo a change, forming a strange symbol within while turning a glowing turquoise blue to match Vegito's purple. <gasps> You're kidding me! He transformed again! Instantly putting the God Killer back into a state of shell shock as deja vu to the last jump in power from Z, then strikes Vegito all at once. As with his eyes and mouth open ajar, he would add, No! It's the same as before! His energy! I can sense it! It's shooting through the roof! Why isn't it stopping? All of you! Go for him at once! Immediately then pointing his finger back at Z in the air with an angered scream. Not wanting the guard to grow any stronger or indeed undergo any more of a change. Yet again, like a band of brothers in support, the army of god killers would rush in quickly and at full speed and intent towards the high in the sky, dual winged Z. Though the guard noticing this would make no change in movement. <laughs> change your appearance as much as you want, clown! Five of you couldn't handle our numbers, and that definitely won't change when you're back down to one! As another would smirk, <laughs> It's true! You've made this far too easy for us! What a lucky guy the Vegito from this realm is! You truly don't have a chance in hell of getting rid of all of us! <laughs> But as the overwhelming number of Vegito's rushing at Z, we would find him finally making a move, but a simple one, as he raises his hand into the air as if about to catch something, before saying with a cold looking look down at his attackers, maybe not in hell, yes, but most definitely in heaven. As suddenly a bright white light would begin forming directly in the space above the royal guard's palm. Getting brighter and brighter, more concentrated by the millisecond before... HOLY SMITE! Z would get at the top of his voice with more conviction and emotion than ever before. As the divine light would suddenly then encompass all in its vicinity. With Z himself now lost within it, and only his left eye peering sharply through. <laughs> Momentarily shocking all of the Vegito copies in its luster. Uh, what? What is this? Leaving them all confused, as they now cannot see anything but light. But no stinging sensation that would be typical of a solar flare-like technique. Something about this light would not be normal. Something about it would be from up above. What? And soon, one would begin to realize despite the blinding white light, his own body would now be disappearing away, turning to particles of dust as if being erased by a Hakai. <coughs> And soon the true power of the Holy Smite of Z would be seen properly, as every single one of the hundreds, if not thousands of Vegitos in the air would then all begin to erase completely, their demonic flesh unable to even exist in the light of this heavenly technique. And in the aftermath, as the light dissipates away, Z would remain with both wings flexed, covered in aura, but not a trace more of any of the Vegito copies from different timelines that would be around him anymore. Uh, what? What just happened? Leaving Vegito 
the one from our timeline, near petrified as he can barely get out his words after observing the impossible. Looking up above still, wide-eyed, trembling and stuttering, the god killer would continue. How? How did... How did he do that? Where? Where are they all? <laughs> As Z would just look down divinely with an emotionless face, only to respond. There is only one place left for those that are smited by gods. And you will be next to join them, Vegito. <laughs> Shut up! But the fear and scared energy would suddenly flip to an intense anger. As Vegeta would then scream with black lightning roaring all over, do whatever magic trick you like, slave! As long as infinite timelines exist, with the time rings, I will just create infinite Vegitos! <laughs> as he then suddenly lifts his right arm up along with his time rings, before yelling out, I think this time, just to be safe, We'll go for one million portals open at the same time! <laughs> but suddenly, just as Vegito would begin to attempt to use his time rings, instantly with speed that cannot even be described, full seraphim form Z would appear directly in front of Vegito. Grabbing his arm tightly, looking down menacingly, as Vegito would just mutter out, Wait! You... What are you... Before with the coldest of tones, Z would just say, But before I take care of the last demon of this realm, I will make sure these abominable devices on your hand will no longer exist. No being, Bar Cronoa, should have any need for tampering with time. Supreme Kai or not. <laughs> Before with a flash of light emanating from his right turquoise eye, all four remaining time rings would begin erasing to nothing right before the eyes of Vegito. What? Stop this! And the god killer, watching on, would be forced to watch as the dust would move past his face and pitter patter all over him. A rush of disbelief would then come all over his body as he would mutter, My. my time rings! No! This cannot be! <laughs> but while Vegito reacts, Z would begin making his final move raising his arm yet again for what will presumably be his final holy smite. And looking down, knowing the Ultra Vegito story has finally come to an end, Z would say, And now, it is time to finally send you down to where you belong. Leaving Vegito in his last moments to just think, Send me to where I belong? But Z, with his turquoise eye glowing just like before, would then yell, HOLY SMITE! STOP! <laughs> but this time, it's not Vegito who gets interrupted mid-movement, and instead, a voice that sends shivers down the spine of Z is heard commanding him. Could it be the Grand Priest yet again? No! It would instead be shockingly revealed to be none other than Lord Zeno himself, with the Omni King outstretching his hand in a stop sign as he just whispers coldly, This battle is over. You two have bored me now, and I want to do something else. I'm hungry actually. Come back now, Z. Now. Uh, Zeno! Huh? My lord! 
and instantly, with this sudden command at the worst of moments, both the Grand Priest and Z would be left in utter shell shock, unable to even believe the words that just came out of their own Omni King. And for the first time, there would be a hint of defiance and hesitation in the guard as he looks to the skies and asks, Lord Zeno, but why? Allow me to just finish this demon off here and now. One more second is all I need. No! But with an angered scowl, with even a vein appearing on his deformed head, Zeno would scold. Come here now. Let me say that again, and I will erase another six universes along with you. Do not tempt me. <clears throat> Immediately sinking the guard's head in fear with just those words alone, forcing him to quickly reply in submission, As you wish, my lord. I apologize profusely for my outburst. <clears throat> Before instantly, the body of Z would then begin to vanish from the sight of the confused Vegito who cannot hear anything that Zeno had said. <gasps> what the? Leaving Vegito to now still look at his still intact hand, no longer being grabbed by Z, still shocked that his time rings are gone. <coughs> Z, meanwhile, would reappear next to where he threw his royal clothing earlier, begrudgingly bending down to then grab it, but then, with one final cold stare at Vegito, would let out... <laughs> you... You got lucky today. Before then vanishing off the face of the realm, never to be seen again. <clears throat> As Vegito would just be left alone, without a clue of what had just happened in the space of just minutes. As he could only just whimper, what? What the hell just happened? Why am I still alive? But soon, the scene would shift to a strange new planet away from Vegito. And once zoomed in, a mysterious but recognizable bold figure would be seen in the distance meditating. And of course, it would be Jiren. Now without his horn, and in a far calmer state to when we last saw him, not uttering a word before. In front, a pair of unknown feet then land, with the figure wondering, hmm. So, this is the second god killer. Interesting. <laughs> and soon revealed would be an all new character. One not ever before seen in the Dragon Ball story, but somehow bearing a striking resemblance in features to one we do know. As the stranger would then finally say, Welcome to your final moments, Jiren the Grey. I have learned much about you. It is a shame you ended up committing a cardinal sin. Your executioner on this fine evening will be myself. My name is Makoto, fourth of the five strongest. But that was it for today's video guys, and if you made it this far, leave me a hashtag fourth in the comments down below, and let me know if you're glad to see Jiren back, and whether you think he'll be able to handle the fourth or you can just find out what happens right now on my Patreon, where you can see the full next video, fully voice acted, soundtracked, and edited for you to enjoy with over 3,600 plus other fans, as well as getting access to 250 plus other fan mongers too. It's the deal of the century.